and welcome to the 41st annual Human Relations Student Awards Virtual Banquet. My name is Wanda Allen Abraha, and I am very excited to welcome you to this year's new format. We are very excited to honor our local youth as we are each and every year that we hold our usual in-person banquet. But of course this year, in light of the COVID-19 restrictions, we wanted to make sure that we still provided the awards and, and gave them to the students, but in a safe format. So that is exactly what we're doing. This year is still like every other year in that we have some outstanding young people who are going to be showing you exactly why they're being honored by their respective schools and by the Winston-Salem for Scythe County School District as a whole. The Human Relations Commission and the Human Relations Department were very, very enthused to see all of the wonderful things that were being submitted by guidance counselors, assistant principals, and principals about their students. These students have done some of everything despite the restrictions and despite the barriers that the pandemic has presented. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. But until that time, we do want to provide you with a few greetings and welcoming remarks. Next up, we have Mayor Allen Joins. Mayor Joins has been such an outstanding and strong supporter of our youth here in Winston-Salem and particularly with this program. So without further ado, here's Mayor Allen Joins. Hello everyone, uh, this is Allen Joins, Mayor of the City of Winston-Salem and it's uh, my pleasure to welcome you to this virtual uh, meeting, uh, it's an event where we recognize student leaders all across our system. Uh, this is one we've uh, done every year, and I always look forward to, to doing that in person, but I'm glad to be able to do it even virtually today. Certainly want to continue to thank our human relations staff and our board for uh, their work and pulling this together every year because it's so important that we recognize the student achievements uh, all across our system. I certainly congratulate the students that are being recognized tonight, uh, as well as uh, congratulate the parents, because I know it takes uh, good support at home to for these things to happen. And certainly can't go without recognizing the, the teachers and faculty and administration within our Winston-Salem Forsyth County school system that doing such a great job to keep our young people going during this pandemic time. It's been a, a challenge to them and I congratulate them for their hard work that they're doing. Uh, you know, we in the city are continuing to push forward with uh, our uh, efforts to improve uh, third grade reading achievement in our, in our schools. And I know the, the schools are committed to doing that as well. But tonight, uh, I'm just delighted to um, uh, welcome you to this event and to once again say how proud we are of these young people for their achievement, uh, not only in the classroom, but in other aspects of the, the school life. So I enjoy the event. Hopefully we can be back together personally uh, next year as we continue to celebrate this. Thank you very much. Greetings and welcome to the 41st annual Winston-Salem Human Relations Student Award Celebration. I am Tricia McManus, Interim Superintendent for Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools, and I am honored to help kick off this wonderful event this year. On behalf of our school board members and our phenomenal staff, I am thrilled to celebrate, honor, and recognize the incredible selfless things you have done and will continue to do for our community. I must also say how thankful I am that the City of Winston-Salem's Human Relations Department make this special event a reality every year. The Dalai Lama once said, love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. In my opinion, your ability to love, show compassion, and exhibit empathy to others, no matter his or her race, religion, cultural difference, is remarkable. It is the very reason the Human Relations Award is special in that it honors you, our students, in a way that supports the mission and the culture of our district. Another popular quote says, do things for people, not because of who they are or what they do in return, 
but because of who you are. Because you have done just that, demonstrated kindness, compassion, concern, and love, you were chosen for these Human Relations Student Awards. I can think of no other honor so noble. Embracing the concept of genuine kindness and compassion is important for us all. I know that once again, this event is virtual. I wish we could have celebrated your achievements in person. This is a time when human kindness and compassion for others is most important. Please know that today we celebrate you and are so very proud of your accomplishments. I am so glad that you are a part of the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools family, and I thank you for your powerful acts that have made our community a better place. On behalf of the Winston-Salem Youth Advisory Council and as chair, I am honored to welcome you all. Thank you for your commitment to community service, your rush to thrive even though circumstances say otherwise, perseverance, and your commitment to make a mark not only in Winston-Salem but neighboring communities and someday the world. Though times may look a little different, you are still worthy of being congratulated and you are still worthy of honor today. If anything I have learned from you all is to never give up, to persevere and to do things that you love. So continue onward, run with endurance and know that you have a community behind you. Congratulations to the 2021 Human Relations Student Award winners from the Youth Advisory Council. My name is Carrie Williams and I'm the chair of the Student Relations Committee. It gives great pleasure for us to recognize students from across the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools, traditional and non-traditional, committed to civic and community engagement. In spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, youth continue to excel in being socially engaged in our community. Students, I would like to congratulate each of you for learning the importance of community and serve, community service and what it means to have a heart of a servant. I encourage each of you to continue to keep up the stellar work. Our community is the better because of you. 
I would like to thank the Winston-Salem City Council for leading by example and valuing the work of the Human Relations Department and its commission. To the amazing Human Relations Department staff under the leadership of Wanda Allen Abraha and the Human Relations Banquet Committee, thank you for your tireless efforts and your spirit of excellence. Thank you to the City of Winston-Salem Marketing and Community Communications Department and a huge thank you to Larry Bill for always being available to service us all. I would like to thank our speaker, a man that is socially committed to his community, a man that is passionate about service to others, and a man who has the heart of a servant, my pastor, Reverend Dr. Nathan E. Scovins. Again, students, congratulations, and thank you for all you do to make our community better. Hello, I'm Dr. Nathan Scovins, Senior Pastor of the Galilee Missionary Baptist Church right here in Winston-Salem. I want to congratulate each and every one of you uh, for serving, for sacrificing, and for shining as a bright light in the midst of a dark world. I have been chosen as the keynote speaker for this occasion. It is such an honor to bring words of encouragement and a moment of inspiration for this occasion. I'm told of a story about two young men who were traveling to a basketball game. Somehow they were sideswiped by a tractor trailer. This tractor trailer sideswiped them and left them in a ditch. There was blood everywhere. They were in need of desperate help. The young man pleaded with his friend, help me, find someone to help me. The young man just happened to look above his head and noticed a sign that said clinic up ahead. The young man said, wait right here, I'll be right back with some help. He rushed up the hillside and knocked on the door. Man came to the door in a white coat. He looked at him and said, what's wrong? What, what, what can I do for you? He said, sir, I need you to come and help my friend. He's been injured. He's been in an accident. The young man looked at the man in the white coat and the man in the white coat just stood there and he said, sir, won't you please come and help me? And the man said, sir, I can't help you. I quit practicing medicine five years ago. The young man looked at him puzzled and simply said, well, sir, if you're not available and able to help, then maybe you should take the sign down. I'm simply saying to each of you this evening that if you are not available to help, to bring healing, to bring hope in times like these, then maybe you should be careful what you advertise or take the sign down. I simply charge you to be three things. One, be compassionate. Treat people how you want to be treated. The old song goes, if I can help somebody, as I travel along the way, then my living will not be in vain. Be compassionate. Why? Because the compassion you share is the compassion you shall receive in return. Not only should you be compassionate, but you should be committed. That's right. Be committed. Finish what you start. And then lastly, be consistent. I'm reminded of a quote from my wife's grandfather, Andrew Mac Johnson. He simply said, once a task has begun, Never leave until it's done. 
Be thy labor, great or small, do it well or not at all. I hope that you will be mindful that everything you do, that you will do it well. Dr. Martin Luther King, I believe, said it best when he said, if I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Listen, be committed, be compassionate, but lastly, be consistent or take the sign down. And whatever you do, do it well and be excellent. Why? Should you be excellent? Why? Because excellence is the result of caring more than others think is wise. Risking more than others think is safe. Dreaming more than others think is practical. And expecting more than others think is possible. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and the vision to see obstacles as opportunities. I charge and challenge each of you today. Be excellent. Be compassionate. Be consistent and be committed. And remember, once a task has begun, never leave until it's done. Be thy labor, great or small, do it well or not at all. And if you're not going to help anyone, then take the sign down. Congratulations. Continue to serve. Continue to shine. Continue to sacrifice and be an inspiration to those around you. Thank you. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I want to know by unknown author. One of my data. That life has been worth living. That I have brought somebody joy kind and selfish giving. I want to feel when evening falls and shadows quickly lengthen that I have made somebody glad. Some weaknesses I have strengthened. I want to know what come at me. I've left some cheer and gladness. I want to feel at the close of day. I've banished someone's sadness. I want to feel at day's end that someone's care were lighter. Because of kindness I have done, may someone's life be brighter. Here are a few examples of how the 2021 Human Relations Awardees gave back to the community. Appalachian State Academy at Middle Fork, Derek hernandez Evora. Derek represents every aspect of our core values at the Academy, honesty, integrity, kindness, and excellence. He always has a pleasant demeanor, greets others respectfully, and demonstrates a heart for others. He is a leader and models our high standards of excellence for others. Ashley Academy for Cultural and Global Studies, Alanis Martinez Pediton. Alanis is an exceptional leader to her fifth grade classmates by sharing the perspective of her peers during class and with her teacher, Ms. Smith. She shares her screen in class to offer tips for navigating Canvas or other learning platforms and to share her problem solving techniques. Bolton Elementary School, Kivis Jones. Kivis is a wonderful, well-rounded student. His behavior has been phenomenal throughout the school year. He has displayed exemplary manners with his peers. Lastly, he is eager to learn. Brunson Elementary School, Lucy Davis-Huey. 
Lucy holds herself to very high standards and she is an excellent role model for her peers. She is always kind to others and has been a good friend to anyone who is around. She works hard to achieve any goal she sets. She has volunteered and continued to do so in the pandemic. Caleb's Creek Elementary School, Silas Ross. Silas has been resilient in the midst of online learning, the pandemic, and losing his dad tragically at the beginning of the 2020-2021 school year. He has been helpful and compassionate to other students. He has a consistent positive attitude while dealing with his own grief. Cash Elementary School, Isabella Reitz. Isabella is above and beyond deserving of this award. She is compassionate and has a servant's heart to help others. She shows kindness in all that she does. Clemens Elementary School, Sarah Zacharias. Sarah has worked with her Girl Scout troop to volunteer with multiple different organizations and on many different projects in our community. She partnered with the Clemens Library and created a display on water conservation that included bookmarks with water conservation tips to be passed out. She collected and donated supplies for hurricane victims in Eastern North Carolina. Cook Literacy Model School. Abriana Graham Grant. Abriana is a hardworking student. She comes to Zoom class with a positive attitude and willingness to give her personal best each day. She is a great classmate that always helps and encourages others. She is a natural born leader and always helps facilitate small groups. Diggs Latham Elementary School, Brian Garcia Reyes. Brian is very polite, responsible, and always has a smile. He is helpful to his siblings and his friends. He is very dedicated to music, gives great presentations, and never brags. Brian was a dependable leader in safety patrol before the COVID-19 closure. Easton Elementary School, Karina Nicole Omeda Iona. Karina is a shining example of kindness and compassion in her classroom. She consistently works hard on her own schoolwork, but at the same time is lending a helping hand to her classmates. If they are confused or challenged with something in class, Karina takes the time to help her fellow students and ensure understanding. Forest Park Elementary School, Dylan Menenche Noyola. Despite not being able to physically connect with his classmates, Dylan is eager to initiate conversations to spark community building. Sometimes he will even suggest new activities. Whether it is through video games or surveys, he enjoys getting to know his classmates. His natural compassion pushes him to take the temperature of the room daily, even with his teachers. Frank Morgan Elementary School, Liana Lynch. The entire school was invited to write letters to veterans to express our gratitude for their service. Liana responded immediately by writing three letters which demonstrated her appreciation for their service and a hope that they would have a good holiday season with good health and safety. Liana even promised to write more letters. Gibson Elementary School, Julian Culpepper. Julian is a hard worker and has the desire to interact with his classmates. He also shows passion to add greatness to our school. Julian has a heart for others, and part of that is due to his own experiences. Griffith Elementary School, Randy Osmar Valverde Justo. Randy has always been a positive student. Rarely is he seen without a smile on his face. Randy has been active throughout the school years at Griffith, such as being involved in student council and being a part of theater arts club. Randy is also in our AIG program and does not mind assisting his peers who may need additional help. Paul Woodward School, Rene Guzman Serrano. Rene demonstrates compassion online and in the classroom by helping students who may have difficulty learning by being a friend and mentor when help is needed. He is able to speak well with others and shows empathy while working with peers. Ibrahim Elementary School, Sarah Sofia Moncalo Navas. Sarah is caring, responsible, dependable, supportive, and compassionate towards others. She works hard and applies great effort to any given task. She has a selfless spirit and does things in a caring manner. 
She exemplifies great compassion, good character, and citizenship. Jefferson Elementary School, Anthony Zegman. Anthony is continually doing volunteer work in our community through the Boy Scouts of America. For example, Anthony recently volunteered his time to clean up trash at Jamison Park in Winston-Salem. In addition to his community outreach, Anthony is a standout student and friend to all. He shows compassion to everyone he encounters. Kernersville Elementary School, Leah Spilisi. Leah is a dedicated Girl Scout and not only participates in all of the group's activities, she also donates countless boxes of cookies each year to our local first responders and our military troops. There are many examples of her going out of her way to care for people, even adults, if she sees a need. She works hard on everything she takes on, is responsible, and always does her best. Kimberly Park School, Jocelyn Mata Cabrera, Jocelyn is always prepared and is well respected by her peers. She always seeks opportunities where she can aid and assist her classmates. She is always engaged in activities in school and in her community. Jocelyn is without a doubt a joy to teach and watch as she interacts with her peers. Kimmel Farm Elementary, Reese Navea Holder. Reese is extremely compassionate towards others. She is active in the community as a Girl Scout Reese is a leader and a good role model for others. Conoak Elementary School, Natalie Bird. Natalie is an active Girl Scout where she has helped to make and serve community meals, as well as community projects like filling the blessing box at the church and sending weekly cards to her four ladies who live in nursing homes and those isolated during the pandemic. In addition to these community efforts, Natalie has been an ambassador for Conoke in the Chinese Immersion Program and a Quality Scholar. Louisville Elementary School, Mary Addison McIntosh. Mary Addison and her family created a blessings box for the Louisville community. She stocks the blessings box with food and other items and families are welcome to help themselves as needed. Mary Addison also organized a food drive to help stock the box and receive donations that would keep the box stocked for several months. Marvin M. Ward Elementary School, Besley Hernandez Megadan. Besley always likes to help others. She has compassion for those in her classroom because she wants to share information with them and actively listens to what they have to share. She also has compassion for those who are less fortunate by giving money or food to people who are homeless. Meadowlark Elementary School, Adam Kofer. Adam goes above and beyond to show kindness, compassion, and appreciation to others. He truly epitomizes a servant's heart. During the pandemic, he wanted to show his thanks to our community's first responders and law enforcement officers. He made thank you gift bags and distributed them, much to the delight and surprise of the recipients. Thank you, Adam, for going the extra mile to support those who serve us. Mineral Springs Elementary School, Emma Castillo Benitez. Emma is a well-rounded student who cares about everyone and everything. She is self-motivated and is very sincere when things don't happen the way they were supposed to. Emma will be a great leader for any program, club, or event that she decides to partake in. Moore Magnet Elementary School, Kimari Vaughn. Kimari is exceptionally kind and goes above and beyond to help his peers. He also offers tech support for his teacher and classmates. He is an all-around terrific student and person. North Hills Elementary School, Renata Garcia Tavira. Renata is caring and she goes out of her way to help her fellow classmates with understanding their classwork. She comes to school every day and on time wearing her school uniform. She has donated clothing to Honduras after the flood. She often helps her family business and she will also often feed the homeless. Old Richmond Elementary School, Abriel Elise Morrison. As a fifth grade student at Old Richmond Elementary, Abriel always brings positivity to learning. Abby is always supportive and encouraging of her classmates and teachers. She cares about her schoolwork, always putting forth great effort. She cares about the feelings of her teacher and classmates. Old Town Elementary School, Emily Tillerson. Emily is soft-spoken, 
but her actions speak louder than words ever could. She is often reserved, but she has shown that she can have fun. She is seen as a nice and sometimes shy person by her peers. Her smile is calming is the response I received when I asked her peers about what stands out most when they think about her. Piney Grove Elementary School, McKenna Keys. McKenna has donated almost 300 boxes of cookies to Frontline Healthcare Heroes. She adds notes of thanks and inspiration. She has delivered to Moses Cone, Green Valley, and the Women's and Children's Center and hopes to extend her deliveries to local fire and police departments. McKenna collects monetary donations and then brings Girl Scout cookies to the COVID heroes. Rural Hall Elementary School, Vivian Wilson. Vivian has volunteered for Meals on Wheels and is a part of the Neighborhood Trash Club, where she has picked up trash in the neighborhood. This year, she really wanted to be a safety patrol. When in school, she helps students who struggle with their work. Sedge Garden Elementary School, Adeline Agosto. Adeline is a kind, compassionate student who always gives her very best efforts and encourages others to do the same. Her positive attitude is a bright light to all who know her. She is an incredibly hard worker. She keeps on going through frustrations and never lets them affect her outlook. Sherwood Forest Elementary School, Owen Archer. Owen had the opportunity last school year to have a student with visual impairments in his class for part of the day. All of the students were kind to this boy, but Owen really took it upon himself to become friends with him, partnering up with him in class, and even being his eyes on the playground so he could be included in sports. Owen did everything he could to make the student feel included. South Fork Elementary School, Layla Higgins. Layla shows compassion and respect for her teachers and peers. She is always willing to help others. She is eager to work together with her peers and collaborate positively. Layla exemplifies excellent interpersonal skills and maintains positive relationships with her peers. Southwest Elementary School, Timothy Trey Cruz. Trey always goes the extra mile to reach out to those in need and offer a helping hand whether to a teacher struggling with technology or to a student struggling with the pressures of class or life. He is sensitive beyond his years to the needs of others and befriends everyone he meets with his humble, friendly approach. Spees Elementary School, Mary Scott Shutt. Mary Scott is very compassionate and always engages in academic instruction across all subject areas, including encore subjects. Mary always goes the extra mile to make sure that each of her classmates are included. If any activities at school or outside of school are being held, Mary is willing to make sure everyone is doing their part in order for things to run as smoothly as possible. Union Cross Elementary School, Madeline Reeves. Maddie is active in her community through Girl Scouts. She is also active in her church family, as well as her community softball and basketball leagues. She is a very bright young lady that has a positive impact on her classmates. Maddie is compassionate and sensitive to other perspectives within the classroom. Vienna Elementary School, Lila Hartman. To give back and bless others, Lila organized a toy drive to give toys to the children at Brenner's Children's Hospital. Then in 2020, she organized a monetary donation to give away since they were not collecting toys she ended up raising over $2,000. Thank you, Lila, for giving back and giving hope to others from your experience. Walkertown Elementary School, Chloe Tipton. Chloe is always willing to help others in me. She is responsible, takes time to ask about me and others, and spread positivity in my virtual classroom. Chloe is very understanding when things do not work on Canvas or things do not go as planned. Whitaker Elementary School, Evan Chester. During this remote learning situation, Evan is one of those students whose positivity and determination shine every day. He has a genuine love of learning that comes through even though we are not in the classroom. Evan is hardworking and has set an example for his peers, even during this unique time.
Clemens Middle, Suvir Suri. Suvir is an outstanding student and is always polite and kind towards his classmates and teachers. He goes above and beyond outside of school and has embraced many opportunities to help our community in various capacities. East Forsyth Middle School, Andrew Inch. Andrew is kind and responsible. He is willing to lend a helping hand. He is working to overcome the many health challenges that arise. He is involved in Boy Scouts, where he is involved in serving the community. Flat Rock Middle School, Senilla Dodd. Senilla is a gentle spirit. Whatever she can do to help others, she does. She is very compassionate and goes out of her way to make others feel better. Haynes Magnet School, Elizabeth Ellie Lanier. Ellie's empathetic and passionate belief in a cause sets her apart from other students her age. Ellie has brought attention to the effects the meat industry has on our environment, to racial injustices in the world, and to the need for tutoring underprivileged youth in her own community. She continues to find her place and discover new ways to make an impact. Kernersville Middle, Sawyer Wemis. Sawyer has helped a multiple elementary schools, arranging Christmases parties for EC pre-K classes and creating treat boxes for third grade teachers who were not located in the building. She helped organize the supply room, passed out supplies, and helped teachers get their rooms set. She is an active participant in Crosby Scholars and the Junior Honor Society. She loves to play tennis and participate in musicals. Meadowlark Middle, Taylor Cozy. Taylor and her sister decided to make masks for healthcare workers and distributed over 100 masks to workers in our community. Taylor has served as a student ambassador at Meadowlark Middle, helping new students to get to know our school. She just started teaching young children gymnastics and has chosen to remain in virtual learning to limit her exposure to illness, that so she can keep herself and her gymnasts safe. Mineral Springs Middle School, Berenice Mendoza Mendez. Berenice loves to help other students by screen sharing and using whiteboard chat to demonstrate how to complete assignments. She really cares about the other students and is a genuine person. Northwest Middle School, Jayla Miller. Jayla is very involved in her school environment and displays compassion for helping others. She is a Crosby Scholar Leadership Council member. She was also a cheerleader during her seventh grade year and assisted with rising sixth grade school tours. She has participated in the Penny Drive for Northwest. Philo Hill Magnet Academy, Anna L. Fuentes. Anna is an exceptional role model for her peers. Anna ma maintains her grades, support students in class, and has a positive energy that promotes academic learning in the classroom environment. Given our situation today, she remains positive and makes the best of our school day whether online or in person. Southeast Middle School, Alexander Edwards. Alex excels academically, but also as a community leader. He is an active member of Crosby Scholars, completing over 50 hours of community service so far this school year. He understands the importance of giving back to the community and is a role model for other students. Alex is helpful, open, and engaging to his teachers and peers. The Downtown School, Olive Siba and Kalija Stoltz. Olive and Kalija organized a fundraiser to support the children in the slums of Haiti. They led their classmates in a school-wide project to buy school supplies and toiletries for elementary children in the poorest part of our world. They sold hot chocolate and served popcorn at school dismissal and use the funds to gather suitcases full of supplies. They exemplify servant leadership and heart. Thomas Jefferson Middle School, Elizabeth Cordray. 
Eliza is involved in travel, lacrosse, and volleyball, meeting and accepting people from different backgrounds, cultures, and places. Eliza and her family donate to the food pantry at her middle school, as well as staffing stockings for the Salvation Army. Eliza is wise beyond her years and truly seems to grasp the meaning of empathy. Wiley Magnet Middle School, Sean C. Lewis. Sean helps new students learn the ropes in their classes, sits with them at lunch so they will not be alone, and is a school ambassador who provides tours to families. He also serves on the student council. The best part is that Sean does all these things with a genuine smile on his face that makes others feel comfortable, welcomed, and valued. Winston-Salem Prep Middle School, Olivia Kendall. Olivia is smart, talented, polite, and motivated. Teachers state that she loves to participate in class and always completes her assignments. Olivia is one who holds her classmates accountable. The following are the High School Human Relations Student Awardees. From Atkins High School, Sania Gabrielle. Sania Gabrielle is an excellent student who has served her school and community in a variety of ways. She is a co-leader of the Winston for Peace organization and a Big Brothers Big Sisters mentor. She is school ambassador for Atkins and has volunteered at several school recruitment events. Sania has also worked in her community helping register people to vote. From Carver High School, Rashid Barber. Rashid worked with school personnel to do a motivational video to encourage remote academic participation and celebrating being a yellow jacket. He also ran for class president to be an active participant in planning activities to make this year for seniors meaningful. From Early College of Forsyth, John Mamaniwa. John is the founder and president of the Choral Club at Early College of Forsyth. He gives 100% to the choir, presenting joy through music. He is versed with a keen desire to share warmth and care with the community at large through melodies. From East Forsyth High School, Easton and Weston Matthews. Easton and Weston are tied this year because they equally contribute so much to the community at East Forsyth. Weston is the president of the Habitat for Humanity Club and helped coordinate all activities and volunteering in the community. Easton started the Young Republicans Club at East Forsyth and encouraged all eligible students to register to vote. From the John F. Kennedy High School, Mirtha Medel Crispin. Mirtha is very involved in church and school. At church, she assists with everything from cleaning the church to assisting with the younger children and the elderly. At school, she acts as an ambassador and serves on the SGA. Mirtha is always willing to lend an ear to her peers. From the Middle College of Forsyth, Grace Vickers. Grace is an active participant and leader in student clubs. She is a member of Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, was selected for the NSLC Georgetown International Relations Program and Argentine Foreign Exchange Program. Grace volunteers to work with youth during the summer, speaks fluent German, Spanish, and Dutch, and plans to pursue undergraduate studies in international relations and diplomacy. From Mount Tabor High School, Cecilia Herrero Santiago. As a Mount Tabor student, Cecilia has invested a lot of time making a difference in her community. She has been an active leader in her church, volunteered at her local YMCA, and participated in community and school fundraisers. She has been a perfect role model at their school. From North Forsyth High School, Cameron Smith. Cameron works tirelessly to promote a spirit of inclusion on their campus and in their community. He uplifts peers and has a way of making all of those around him better and more confident. As student body president, 
his genuine kindness and leadership are promoting a culture of compassion and empathy in every corner of their school community. From Paisley IB School, Aidan Ladislao Moraes. Aidan worked for five months with Project Mask, making masks daily as they were in quarantine and out of school. He also made 60 masks for the Paisley IB staff, so everyone had one on the first day of school. Aiden assisted his sister in planting a garden at South Fork for her gold award. He is very hardworking, service-oriented student. From Parkland High School, Micah Eustache. Micah Eustache has dedicated her life's work to supporting others by founding Veterans in Peace, VIP, which is a program to support, advocate, and focus on veterans' mental health and stability. In addition to this, Micah is also an avid supporter of social justice and has participated in programming in support of social justice. From R.J. Reynolds High School, Molly Hignite. Molly has a positive attitude that is simply contagious. She always greets everyone she meets with a smile and is an absolute delight to be around. This year, she helped coordinate a food drive to support our Demon Pantry. Her SGA sponsor describes her as a mature and passionate about helping others. She seeks connections with all students and her inclusiveness is obvious by her actions. From Reagan High School, Hasti Sadri. Hasti Sadri is a friendly and outgoing leader who seeks opportunities to help those around her, especially those whose voices are not heard. As a Reagan Ambassador leader, Hasti helps welcome new students and connects them with mentors to improve their first year's experience at their school. From Robert B. Glenn High School, Alan Rojas Rodriguez. Alan contributes to their school and surrounding community in a multitude of ways. He's a youth grant maker in action and a member of the Glen High School Student Government Association. He provides leadership to other students through his service as an officer in their JROTC program, HOSA Red Cross Club, and the Earth Club. From Walkertown High School, John Sinsoon. John represents himself, his family, and their school very well wherever he goes. He is near the top of his class and has been accepted to and plans to attend Wake Forest University in the fall. At WHS, he is a member of the soccer and tennis teams as well as the National Honor Society. From West Forsyth High School, Carissa Bryant. Carissa has been an active member of the Key Club since her freshman year. She helped lead the club to many successful service projects and encouraged fundraising for the Forsyth County community. In addition, she is a gold awardee of Girl Scouts of America and has been a leader for the West Forsyth Marching Titans. From Winston-Salem Prep High School, Ronald Sanders. Ronald consistently strives to be the best. He never lowers his standards. Ronald is always willing to help his peers and teachers. He is a wonderful role model. Non-traditional schools, Human Relations Student Awardees. Carter High School, Alanis Hart. After moving here, Alanis became a cheerleader and was at every event in our community cheerleaders participated in. You could see her at parades, competitions, basketball games, volleyball games, Special Olympics, and yard sales sponsored by the school. Alanis participated in graduation as a marshal, as well as in horse therapy and proms. You name it, she was there. She is a well-known face in our community. Children's Center, Cara Clark. Cara shows compassion towards her classmates. She is always happy. She greets 
us each day with a smile. Carl has a wonderful disposition. Children's Center, Jameson Price. Jameson is a leader. He readily shares his background and knowledge of multiculturalism with his classmates and visitors. Jameson is a friendly and outgoing student. Lawrence Middle School, Sidra Muhammad. Sidra is a great leader in the classroom by setting a good example for others. She follows all class and school rules and procedures. She is very kind, works well with others, and greets her peers in the morning, both in the classroom and those students who are virtual. Sidra is always eager to help both her classmates and adults. The Special Children's School, Caleb Joshua Atkins. Caleb is a very compassionate kindergarten student. He always thinks about his classmates' feelings and shows kindness to those around him. Caleb desires to be everyone's friends and builds relationships with others by asking questions about the family and home. Caleb is a joy to have in our classroom and school. Virtual Academy, John Madison. John is an extremely studious and conscientious scholar. His participation in class discussions is stellar. John is extremely active in his church and values his family. To add to his many talents, John is also a musician. He has composed his own album of music. His latest addition is a holiday album, which is published on SoundCloud. Virtual Academy, Tabitha Bigwood. Tabitha Bigwood is kind, inclusive student who reaches out to all students in her class daily. She greets everyone via the chat individually by asking honestly about how each person is doing. She also asks tidbits about what is happening with each of the other students. She has an essential role in building relationships in the class. She treats everyone respectfully and is very socially conscious of current events and the impact on our society. We hope you enjoyed this year's virtual format. As promised, you see that we had some wonderful young people who have not only received awards from Human Relations, but we had young people to recite some very meaningful words and to show us their various talents. So as always, let's continue to celebrate and support our youth. It's more important now during this pandemic than ever. So thanks for joining us. Please feel free to share this program with your family, friends, and associates. And again, please continue to celebrate our young people. Thank you, and we hope to see you next year.